Welcome to Time Out with Kim Possible. Women, do you have flabby thigh syndrome? I do. Okay, I'm working on it though. I'm wearing my Skechers Shape Ups, but I did catch a video of myself from behind the other day. I was pretty devastated to see the shaking going on in back. Probably from the lack of working out during my pregnancy with the twins, but five months in, I'm ready to get down to business. Now, flabby thigh syndrome does not have to ruin your life. It might be one of the toughest areas of the body to work out and tone up, but it's not impossible. And any exercise you've seen before these, just toss them because this is it. This is it. And if you want an exercise that you feel right off the bat so you know it's working, this is going to be it. All right? So for this one, you're going to need a yoga ball, stability ball, some people call it. Okay? And I want you to go and lay down. You're going to feel these. You're going to feel them. Okay. Put your heels up on top of the ball. Roll the ball out till your legs are straight. Okay. Then you're going to put your arms flat down at your side and use them to help push your bum off the floor towards the ceiling as high as you can. Okay. Then you want to hold this position for a good 20 seconds if you can. And then when your 20 seconds are up, you can only do 10 at first. Fine. Okay. Then lower your rear. You can bend your legs. Okay, then go up and hold it again. Okay, if you were to feel your inner thighs from here, you'll feel that even the buttocks, but definitely those inner thighs are tightened more than any other, other muscle group. It's isolated to these inner thighs. You might be tightened here, so it does help the rear and the outer thighs. You're definitely working those inner thighs. So that flab can be gone and relax. Okay, now what I want you to do is, you're going to push up, push up way high. You want to be pushing your shoulders into the floor. You want to push your pelvis up to the ceiling, okay? And you're going to feel this. All right, now bend your knees in, and don't let your rear hit the floor. And then come back out. Bring your knees in, and it's like you're sitting on a chair, but your, your back isn't touching the floor an invisible chair and extending back out. So you're never touching the floor and you'll really feel that. Hold each pose for a couple of seconds, at least two to five seconds. It's a good exercise in balance too, especially this next one, okay? Now you can take a break and when you take a break you're going to feel these muscles really, you could feel them after that amount of time. That's how you know something is working, okay? Well, you don't have to do a zillion reps or wait till the next day to feel something. Go, ouchie. You're feeling it right away. That's the best part. That tells you it's working. Okay, now I want you to push up again. Way up to the ceiling here. Okay, now lift one leg extended. Point the toe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Other leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lower. Rest. You can bring your knees into your chest a bit. Oh, that feels good. I'm really feeling these muscles working it out. And then up. One, two, three three, four, and into the chest, and out. One, two, three, four, into the chest, and out. Rear never touches the floor. One, two, three, four, into the chest, and out. One, two, three, four, into the chest, and out. Bring it down. Woo! You do some of those all the time. A few times a week, girl, you're going to feel it. And you are going to get rid of those flabby, flabby thighs. Between that and my shape-ups, I do see a difference already. But like I said, sometimes you don't even know what's going on back here. Don't bother getting out the video camera. You don't want to shock yourself, trust me. I, I wish I never saw it. 
But in a way, now I'm glad because I could do something about it. But that, I can really feel. So knowing that it's working is really a plus because sometimes you're just not so sure. There are other thigh exercises out there. Bah humbug, that's the best. This one's good too. Grab some dumbbells. Okay, you don't need them, but it definitely makes your squats a lot harder to do, so it's a lot more pressure to have to lower and rise. Okay, but if you don't have any, improvise and just lower like this, okay? All right, so if you have that extra weight, and these are heavy, these are eight pounds a piece, you don't have to go for that. Bring your biceps and elbows into your chest area by your side and lower up. You want your feet shoulder width, maybe a little more apart, and you're just gonna lower and up. And you'll feel these too especially with the weight bearing down on you, making rising up, needing a lot more leg strength, but you can do it without. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really something that you will feel after multiple reps. And the slower you go, and lower you go, the more you get. Let's try it without going straight back up and down. Let's try it by going down and keeping it going. Bobbing slowly to the rhythm, yet not getting up straight and full, full uh, not getting up straight and straightening our knees out. Just bobbing along. You're going to really feel this now. Really feel this. Work up to this one because you're feeling it. Definitely. Woo! Feel the burn. That's how you know you're you're really working it, ladies. Oh yeah, nice, tight, toned, totally hitting the areas that you need it most. Those flabby thighs. Because I like to wear shorts, and I don't want everyone looking at my legs saying, "Oh my God, why is she wearing that?" I didn't notice it that much. So now I can just pass along these little tidbits to you. And after just that amount of workout, which wasn't long, right? You will feel it so you know you're going to get results. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos from TwitPossible.com.